What's going on YouTubers? Gdang775 back with another video. Today I want to go ahead and give you folks my first impressions of Greedfall. Now I've been playing this game on the Xbox One X. My neighbor is Xbox One X to be exact. Uh, folks been following my channel, you know my Scorpio has died, has kicked the bucket. My day one Scorpio. So I'm borrowing his Xbox One X while he has my PS4 Slim. We kind of did how I used to do, how we used to do back in the old days where we traded system when your best friend had like a Sega Genesis and I had a Super Nintendo it's like I wanna play your games and I wanna play your games okay we'll, we, we switch a system for a few months alright that's what I'm doing here he's having a blast playing those PlayStation bangers and I'm here playing all the games that I pre-ordered for my Xbox One X so I'm having a blast playing Greedfall now this game launched for me at 11 o'clock p.m. central time so I've been playing this game I played this game six hours straight, six hours, from 11 till about 5 p.m., which is kind of crazy for me. All right, the thing is, I don't usually do that kind of stuff anymore. But I just had a feeling that this game was gonna be very, was gonna be something that I enjoy. It hit the nail on the head for me because this game plays exactly how I thought it was gonna play out. Let me give you folks a reference point how this game plays plays like. Okay, imagine Dragon's Age Origins, uh, Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings, and a touch of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Yes, Assassin's Creed got thrown in there as well. Now, let me explain my reference points here. Dragon's Age Origins, you got the, the party system, the combat system. Um, not so much the combat. Well, this game has a tactical pause button, so you can kind of do... So it's kind of like a cheat move, but it's fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I don't even use it. Um, the thing is... Uh, it has a tactical pause. It also has that party system. In this game, you can have up to two characters with you at all times. Up to two characters. So that's three of you. All right. Three of you, you can go be, go go out into the world, tear it up, um, or do whatever you want. I think Dragon's Age had like f um, four characters. It had your main character and three other characters. So very similar. The choice and consequences, the romance in this game. Um, the pol politics, okay? There's so many things in this game that if you do something for one group, the other group is gonna be kind of ticked off at you, and vice versa. There's so many groups. Uh, well, there's only like three major factions, but there's a quite a few sub factions in the game, in my opinion. All right, and building your reputation with those factions can help you proceed or could kind of stump you or close off sections of those factions to you later on in the game that's from what I've learned okay I had a little oops in the beginning <laughs> I made a mistake all right um, that's why I restarted and make sure you save your game often because this old school RPGs all right you gotta save your game often um, hence that's the Dragon's Age reference and the combat when I said Witcher 2 is the combat because the game's combat is very akin to Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings. Now, when I say Witcher 2, I, um, people probably think, why didn't I say Witcher 3? Well, Witcher 3, the combat is quite a bit more refined than Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings. And this fits right in there. The combat and the gameplay when you're in, in combat is fits right in with this, um, Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings. Now, Toss in a little of Assassin's Creed Black Flags because the Assassin's Creed got the blunderbuss, um, the black powder guns, um, black powder rifles, whatnot. Plus, it also has stealth elements. Okay, stealth parts in this game where you can be stealthy, or you can be political, or use negotiate, or you can go in guns blazing and killing everybody. But keep in mind, you go the guns blazing route, that could hurt your. Um, standing in the factions that you do those harsh actions to now if you go in there with a little subterfuge or you go in there negotiate okay you could you could gain you could actually gain um reputation by going in there negotiating or going in there using subterfuge now there's and the the beginning of the game you build your character and whatnot you go through this little combat tutorial then they throw you out into the first city Okay, the first city, you're not even on tier for D. Tier for D is the island, by the way. You're not even on tier for D, and the first city, the first place you're at, has a bunch of side quests. I did them all. 
I did all those side quests. I did all those side quests and it took me about four hours to do it. I did them. I, I'm pretty sure I did them all. I don't think I missed any. All right. And I had a blast doing them. Okay. The thing is for me, a lot of people are not going to like this. It's, it's some of the those side quests can be a little tedious. Okay. Like, come on. Dragon's Age Origins, they had a few tedious um, side quests as well. All right. But the thing is, I've been jonesing for a game like this, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> I'm a little biased. Just a little. All right. But the thing is, this game does um, scratch that itch that of that old Bioware RPG that I've been jonesing in my life. And I am going to play this game multiple times through. I've already started in normal mode, which I kind of regret. I should have started in hard mode because the normal mode, I feel, is a bit too easy. So I'm going to... I'm not going to blast through this game. I'm still going to take my time and... What do you call that? Play this game on normal mode. So I'm probably going to beat it in about 40 50 hours when I'm looking at it this game then I'm gonna go back and replay it in hard mode and take the choices that I didn't take before and go the opposite route I love getting and this game has multiple endings all right and multiple NPCs um, let's see what else this game has this game has magic customization the the leveling of the characters the skill tree the talent tree and this game has a lot of in-depth customization and leveling very very good solid RPG mechanics in this game now there are some flaws I'm gonna talk about all right there's a bit of screen tearing not a lot it's screen tearing here and there it's like once or once or twice every every hour every couple hours you see a little screen tear here and there um, especially during combat you might see that doesn't bother me okay and the camera angles sometimes they do kind of feel off especially in combat um, I saw someone on Twitter um, complaining that the, the camera angles made it unplayable I think that um, I think they were on PC but on the Xbox One X it's not unplayable alright I played Fallout 3 back on the PlayStation 3 with like five five frames per second you know and I played through that and it was fine I, I got through that you're gonna be able to get through this no problem now, if you're like a new gamer, you're used to smooth um, 30, 60, 120, 144 FPS. It might bother you a little, but it doesn't bother me. Okay, I powered through. I didn't, it's not even a chore for me. It's actually, I'm still enjoying the game. Okay, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm jumping right back on to Greedfall. Right back onto Xbox One X. And I'm going to play it for an hour before I go back, before I go to sleep. All right, I've been up the whole time. Okay, it's about 8 o'clock a.m. right now. I'm up. <laughs> I've been up since last night. I haven't slept a wink. It's a good thing I, I took the day off today. But yeah, I had a blast. I ha I'm having a blast. This game is exactly what I thought it was going to be. So if you're jonesing that Bioware type game, that Dragon's Age type game, you haven't played um, that, Bi you know, that Bioware we wish Bioware gave us, Spider Studios kind of threw this in there with a... And shout out to Spider Studios, by the way. Fantastic game. And from a small studio. I think they got like 30, 40 people. They put out this big open world game. Open world for the most part, okay? There is loading, all right, in some parts. Especially when you get to the, the, the island you're supposed to go to. Um, but for the most part, the sections you're in, they do. They are open world. Then when you go to the next, se next section, it loads. It sticks you in a camp. And you go into the next, then when that from that camp, you go into the next section, and that's the next part of the open world. It's divided into a few parts. You folks are going to see what I mean when you folks play the game. But yeah, it's a good thing 775. What do you folks think about Greedfall? Are you folks going to be picking it up? Yay? Nay? Maybe? Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, it's a good thing 775. I hope you folks like this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button and let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. It's Gdang775, just the Maui boy in Texas, aka Sully. Peace out.